You know, I thought it would be time to check in on our animal friends. Just a couple happy little animal friends living debaucherous lives when the DS is off. Everyone puts away the black mambos and the double-sided duck bill does. And they just, um, they just wander around the town like a bunch of innocent animals. I kind of generally know not to undertake too much at once. Oh, right. I forgot. I'm... I'm raw. One of these letters, with my powers of prediction, one of these letters will be that an animal has moved away, and it's medley. Moving day has finally come. To be honest, I'm a little reluctant to leave this town and all the friends I've made here, but it's time to move on. I'll miss you. Take care. Medley is now cursed. Ah, uh -huh. do you remember this? Take a look. I'm sorry I stole your melon shirt. I have duck problems. <laughs> My duck problems have not been solved. Drake showing that letter to me was the resolution of Drake's arc. Drake's character arc is now complete. What? You want me for some new sports league too? Man, I'm totally in demand. Hmm. Hmm. What's going on here, I wonder? Is this a comment on the nature of the Splatoon 2 eSport? The other day, this guy comes by wanting me to sign up for his new bowling venture. I was like, sorry bro, I'm totally booked up right now. I gotta tell you, Vine, it felt kind of bad to break his heart like that. See, now, now Inkwell has hit the big time with Splat 2. HOLY SHIT! WHO ARE YOU?! Rocket? Oh, because maybe this monkey fellow went to the moon. Ape, not kill. Ape. Wow, it's you. Well, I guess I lost my bet. I told everyone when you- I told everyone you were gone for good. Now I'll have to give up my crown as Little Miss Musaka. That's dark. Freckles has a death pool going. What's with the ducks having a terrible fashion sense in this town? Drake is wearing tie-dye. You know, Freckles is wearing a fucking six-ball shirt. Because... Yeah, that's the danger of the mask. Being a pharaoh isn't easy. Love. Or just a conversation. That reminds me, I recently had a dream involving Jen from over in music. I'm sorry. J Jen? Not in this game, too. No, 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 no. We can't have the Johns invade in this game. Yep, just keep tripping. Oh, oh, this is the new place. Oh, shit. Why is there, like, a little colony of people being built up here? What what the hell's going on? Joey. Wait, isn't Joey a duck, too? What have you got here today? Oh, I'll buy the pig. How much for the pig? And do you have any knives so that I may, um... ...create bacon? <sighs> Hello, Ketchup. Hey, it's totally fine. Ketchup looks like she's just been caught... ...in some kind of... Like, I wasn't supposed to know Ketchup left town. She thought she would never see me again. And here we are. You know when you run into someone that you just don't want to see again? I'm in fear that my next letter will be from Scoot. Hey, bro, but I'm a zip zooming out of this town. It turns out we were never real bros. Turns out... You always kind of sucked. We were never real bros. Zip zoom. Are you dressed up as a pharaoh? Why, wow, you're the first one that actually saw me as I am. I love it. I'm completely entranced with, with, entranced with ancient Egyptian mysteries. Ganon is trying to discover the secrets of the pyramids and the Sphinx, so that the next time he threatens Hyrule, he'll have those secrets. You will be subjugated by fear, and then we'll get a butcher in town for you and Gala. I need a new outfit, because this, this outfit is unlucky. I guess I should get into the holiday spirit, right? Alright. Santa Vine has come to town. Athletes really should stick to sporty clothes like this. Well, the funny thing about that, Scoot, is that I really want you to wear your rubber duck outfit, and if it means I have to delete you and bring in a new Scoot, I fucking will. Have a good day. Alright. Joey's in town. Have, have I said hi to Joey at any point? I don't remember. Like, cheddar, because you're cheese, but Chad, do you know how much pussy this guy gets? Oh, uh, here's... here's Carl. I mean, Joey. <laughs> hey, um, I'm, uh, Joey. I've been living here for some time now. Where you been? Oh, I'm kidding. 
It's always nice to meet someone new. Yeah. See you around. Black! My present from Jingle would be Ganon gets kicked out, Duck moves in where Ganon was. Santa Vine is clussing to town. Plague! A chance encounter. Oh shit, Drake is fighting back! Drake won this fight! What's this? Dear Scoot, sup bro, wanna lift some time? Us real ducks gotta stick together. Zip fucking zoom, motherfucker. Do you remember the first letter you sent me? It's one of my most prized possessions. You can't have it back though, even if... if it makes you embarrassed. I got an idea for a time capsule stuck in my head, so I went ahead and put one together. Do you remember when I opened Scoot's first time capsule? And I checked out all the cool stuff? And holy shit, Scoot, you've got some titties in your house. You definitely don't want to make the same mistakes twice, especially on Christmas Day for your best friend, Scoot. But on one hand, you potentially get more Scoot lore. Merry Christmas, Scoot. Think about the Scoot lore. There's so much lore that we haven't yet learned about Scoot. Maybe his full name is Scooter, and we'll find out by opening the time capsule. Oh well. This is where I keep all the bodies, you know? Of all the, uh, the animals that moved out, or tried to. Hey! Hey, quack, I'm a duck! See, I'm a duck. Oh my god, I'm dressed as Santa Claus? Has it been that long? Okay, I'm suffering... A fashion crisis at the moment. The house is a mess. My character's a mess. Moving day has finally come. To be honest, I'm a little reluctant to leave this town and all the friends I've made here. Oh, God damn it, Molly. Oh, it's you, Vine. I made a trip back here just to run around. So good to see you. Hey, Ketchup. Now that you're back, we should... catch up. I'm sure Southbird will be able to call a full episode of his, uh, highlights from this. Even if nothing happens, and nothing will happen, make no mistake. I'm gonna do a hairstyle. But it's gonna be... It's gonna be stupid. Oh, dear God, I'm... Green Spock. No. No! No! It's not logical! It's not logical! <laughs> wow! I look awful. I need the jockey helmet. That can help. That can help. Well, that <laughs> fixes things a little bit. Cherry? Yo, Vine, you hear shopping? Cherry. This huge sound, it stirs up my animal blood. What, what? Cherry! She is my cherry pie. And eat some ass. Oh shit. Drake in the house. Drake is quickly becoming a second favorite. I think it's about time to open a time cap. You can move it the other day. Please, bro, can you move it up for me? Um. Not even gonna say hi? You know what? This is actually the nicest looking outfit I've had yet. Oh, there it is. Here's your time capsule. To Scoot from Scoot. Oh, this is embarrassing. I was so immature back then. Scoot still hasn't changed his shirt. I almost want to get rid of Scoot Prime and implement a contingency where I get another Scoot so we can get his little duck shirt back. Okay. Well, it was nice to revisit the town and the animals a bit. So, we'll see you again, Animal Crossing, sometime in the summer. I have to play it seasonally. One stream per season. I kid. Or do I? We're kind of coming to the end of an era here in Animal Crossing. Interactions and the lore are the fun part. If Animal Crossing Switch happens, I'll be all over that. Like a mosquito to a cock vein. I don't recall having moved Joey in. This'll be in Southbird's edit. He's gonna do a cut of me moving Joey in. <laughs> oh man, I just found Carl Pil Pilkington in duck form. So tell me, what is it you wish for? And I'm gonna look like a real fool. I said, I'm going to look like a real fool. Ahem. 
Now would be a good time to trip. That's okay, he'll just- he'll just edit that. There you go. Yep, just doing your job for you, Southbird. Sootbird. Bert. Sootbert. 